hello guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is about this box braid i made i use seven packs for this hair and the hair is short, uh, short natural hair so what i did when preparing the hair is to you know cut one bundle of hair into two equal um, parts then after that i'm going to feather the tip it's important to feather the tip to give it a very nice ends and uh, finish and so I did this um, method on all the seven packs of hair and I have a video on how you can feather tip your expression hair I am going to link that in my in the description for you guys to know but just for you know just to show you what I was doing I just quickly inserted this one you know for you to see how I did the whole Packs. So I'm not going to show you the seven packs. So I'm going to show you just one part of it that I, you know, feather tip. It's really important to really, really do this and do it, you know, nicely, and it will give the hair a very lovely end and finish. So after I finish pulling out on the and uh, tips like so, I'm going to start separating them. You make sure that you separate them like so to remove any kind of tangling. Then after that, you make sure that you put in some hair oil and use your fingers to rub in like so. Then you can get your hair brush and begin to brush through. When you do this, you see that the hair will become very nice and straight and soft. Like that, when you are braiding, you won't have to struggle too much. So next thing is to show you what I was doing so considering that this is a, sh a short natural hair the natural hair is short and it is in it is in its natural state I didn't stretch it so um, before we continue I've already done this part so yeah I'm going to go ahead and show you how I did the other part and we did a really really nice job like you can see this job is awesome and this hair is nice like it's really lovely it's full and lovely if there's any kind of box bed um tutorial you want me to show like any particular uh, topic you can put the question that or the, the contribution in the uh, comment section so on this part i'm going to make a straight line from the forehead towards the middle like so and i'm going to first of all start to do the first one towards the forehead and like you can see this part the hair there is canty so I'm going to you know make sure that I grip it properly you know so yeah I'm going to go ahead and start now so I'm going to separate the part I'm going to make first this is the front there is no way we could have left this hair out you know without making it so don't worry that this hair we uh, chop her forehead it doesn't a lot of people a lot of you worry a lot and just like com compare some kind of hair together when you don't have this kind of hair you shouldn't compare your own kind of hair with this kind of hair I know what I'm saying because I know some of you have like coily uh, hair and you know you can just put on some gel and the hair will just go straight like the edges will be like on flick but you know this kind of uh, texture where you kind of do the edges before known is like back to its normal state and all that so yeah uh, what i did here is to separate the hair uh, while i'm braiding into, into the three strands that i used to braid the hair so i'm going to continue braiding like this i'm still going to show you more um, braids so that you can you know grab what I'm talking about and um, if you want you're learning how to grip hair you're learning how to box braid if you watch so many videos I guess you'll be able to get um, any method that suits you you know to know how to braid I actually did not learn this from anywhere I just on my own know how to do it so yes yeah, so I'm going to repeat another one so like I crossed my braid like a three strand so i place the hair on top of the braid like this and i use my index finger and i go through you know the first one to grab some hair the second one to grab some hair, and the third one automatically will be onto the uh, third uh, strand then i just hold it down and braid 
then when I'm sure that the hair is firm and I release my ten the tension and I begin to braid the hair and I make sure that I hide her hair and tuck them in under the braid so basically that's what I'll be doing I'm still going to repeat a couple of strands for you to see how I did this and I hope you like this video I'll just let you watch what is left if there's anything I have to come and tell you I'll still have to come back and talk about it and yeah if you're watching me for the very first time don't forget to subscribe to my channel and if you have been watching me I really thank you so much for your support I get your massive massive uh, you know support in the comment section I really do appreciate so yeah this is what I'm doing it's really simple and it's really nice you know all kinds all kind and types of hair can be braided into this um, style so if you if you're asking me if you can braid a, a permed hair it's also beautiful to braid if you want to you know braid um, a have cast hair what do they call them yeah, you, so you can also do that and if you're going to braid a very very long hair you can also do that just that um, the amount of time that you use to finish this kind of braid depends on the kind of texture of hair that you have and the kind the length of hair that you are making and also the size of hair you are making so there is no specific time for box braid it just depends on what you are doing so like you can see me doing right now I braided the whole strand until the very end until the very end so that's what I'm doing and this size is basically a medium it's not like a large and it's not like it's small it's like a medium so this is the last strand I didn't even know I was going to talk onto this last strand so let's just finish this talking I hope I'm not boring you guys or uh, my voice is not that good and I'm kind of boring listening to I think <laughs> so now this is the last one and when I finish this up the best way to seal the ends of your braid is to dip in hot water so I'm going to show it and we're bringing this hair in the night I'm just using the light I wish I braided this hair like in the noon so that I can use the uh, natural lighting. But I'm using my my ring light here, I think, here to film this part. So I now finished that strand, and the next thing for me is to dip the hair in hot boiling water. And when you are doing this, you have to be very careful not to, you know, spill the water on. The, the person you're making the hair for or on yourself you have to be extra extra careful you know have some towel by your side you know to tea, to wipe the water away or dry the water with it and so this is the final look and this is how it came out this is seven parts of expression and I cannot really come to tell you this how many hours we made this hair because we took lots of braids I have kids in school I, I leave the hair, go to school, pick the kids, make food, eat, all that so all together so um, I wouldn't know exactly how many hours this hair took but you can see how full the hair looks the inside and everything is nice and the um, client is happy so thanks so much guys for watching this video and see you in my next one bye